All right, everybody, so today we're going to be talk, continuing on our basic stats discussion on this cake batter data set. First time we were talking about um, average standard deviation, maximum, and range, and we were when we plotted a bar graph showing our results. Today we're going to look at a different means of rep visually representing our data, and that is using a run chart. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to make a scatter plot of our data by highlighting the date and operator 1. And we're going to do this individually, and we're going to make a scatter plot. So go to insert and then insert a scatter plot. So what we have now is the run chart showing our individual data points over time. I recommend a scatter plot instead of a line graph unless your data is equally spaced. Because what's going to happen is you can see if you look at our dates that we we sometimes go sequentially in date order. Some dates have multiple runs, some dates skip quite a few days, and so if we were to plot this as a line graph, you actually lose that date information that you gain from a run chart. All right, so the other thing that we would want to do on the run chart is to plot the average line. And so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to copy that data set. You can also do this by going into the Select Data tab, but I like to do it this way because I think it's faster. So I'm going to copy that with Control C, I'm going to paste it with Control F, and then Shift Tab to highlight the one I just added and we're going to move it over to our average lot column. All right, now nothing's showing up because we don't actually have our average in here. So what you could do is you could copy and paste this individually, pasting values the whole way, or we could make use of Excel's wonderful capabilities. So what we're going to do is copy, refer directly to the average cell, B14, and we are going to make it an absolute reference by adding um, dollar signs in front of it. You can do this quickly with hotkeys in Microsoft in um, on a PC using uh, the F4 key. On a Mac, you use Apple T or that funny squiggly symbol. I think it's called the Apple, and then that'll give you automatically include the dollar signs. If you want to scroll through, you'll see that it it alternately only makes the row or the column absolute referenced. In this case, we want to just make the row referenced, and I'll show you why in a second. So we're gonna finish that and then we're going to click and drag down and so now we see that we have 1490.7 the average filled down for the entire column now what we can do is click and drag this whole column across and it will automatically because we left the C, the column um, flexible it will automatically refer to the next column over which is for operator number two so we don't have to do anything extra all right so now you can see since we set it up that that data for the average is already showing up in the graph but we don't want it to be dots we want it to be a line so what we're going to do is format the data series by right clicking we're going to go to the paint bucket we're going to say solid line and i don't like the gray color we're going to make it let's make it red and then we're going to remove the marker by hitting marker and none. All right, so now we have a run chart and we have this one for operator number one. Um, we currently don't have a legend on here. You could add one that, that refers to the average and the operator data points. You can also go back in and you can add in elements such as your axis titles. So you can add one to the vertical and you can add one to the horizontal and I just took the one off that I wanted to add and you could add in a legend if you want to do that so we'll put one on the bottom all right so now you have a pretty figure all you have to do is update your title your access titles to match um, to be date and to be the massive cake batter now we want to do this for operator number two so what we're going to do is as control alt click and drag and we drag that down. We're going to change this to operator two. And then what we're going to do is click on our data sets and then drag them over to the data sets for operator two. Now doing this, you see, causes some hiccups in our data. We no longer have dots. So what we need to do is right click, format data series, go back and change to no line and a marker. So we're going to make our marker built in and a circle. Okay, so currently this is actually pretty difficult if we want to actually compare between these two data sets. Let's scrunch this down a bit. They're a little bit wide. All right, so here's our data sets. 
and you can see that they look pretty much identical. The main issue is, is that these axis ranges are different. So if you really want to compare between two graphs, the best way to do so is to make sure that your axis range is the same. So for our operator number one, our minimum is 1460 and our maximum is 1520. So by right clicking, by double clicking on the format axis, it brings up this bar and then we can adjust the max and min values for our axis. All right, so now you can easily see now that axis um, ranges are the same, that we have significantly more variability for operator one compared to operator two. And it also shows you whether you can also look and see um, is there any variability that's specifically happening over time, um, which it's, you can't really tell. It doesn't look like there are any trends for this data set, and it's pretty small at the moment. So, all right, so that is how we make a run chart in Microsoft Excel. Um, this is part number two. Next time, um, in part number three, I'm going to show you how to make a box plot in Excel. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next video.